Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. Joining me from beautiful Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, here at the Wicked Tuna Restaurant right on the coast is a guy you've seen before on here, Ed Dombrowski. He is from Lee's Farm, just right across the road here. A beautiful place to get all your fresh produce. Everything is local, okay? I'm telling you, it's simply a matter of taste. Ed, it's always a pleasure yeah, to have you back. Great to have back. you again. Thank well, you Well, you know, much. as an executive chef that you are, okay? What do we got today? Right, today we're going to do a local pork chop. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do a fig, Vidalia onion, and rosemary sauce to go with it. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, so, so this uh, pork chop, okay, yep. and I'm going to unwrap it here Absolutely. because it comes from UCLA. That's right. Upper Conway, Lower Ainer, Exactly. Right? From some pig farms over there. Exactly. So it is local. And we sell this at the market. Oh, yeah, look at that. And see, what we like about this here is if you see the marbling in that. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, very tender. I mean, you can't get a better pork chop than that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're get it going. We're going to season it up. Where I, where I come from, yeah. in UCLA, it doesn't come seasoned, so you got to season it up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little salt, pepper, and garlic. We're going to get that going in the pan. We're going to pan sear it, and then we'll actually finish it off in the oven. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. You just want to get a nice little crust on the outside, and then we just throw it in the oven for about 15 minutes. To well, you know what I love about it? If folks want to come and get fresh meat like this, they want to get fresh South Carolina produce, stop on by Lee's Farm, okay? Yep. And then while they do, they come on over at the Wicked Tuna, huh? And That's eat right. dinner on the way back Exactly. To that's yeah. right. That's okay. right. Because you guys service so many of the restaurants here along the beach and the coast. Exactly. About 250 restaurants uh, six days a week. Oh, uh, wow. Get a lot of our fresh produce. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sear it back. Yep. We're going to sear it. Okay. Just a couple minutes on each side. Yeah. Mm. Want to get that nice little crust on it. Oh, wow. It's rendering all that fat, starting to soften it all up. Uh, like I said, uh, this, this, what I like about this, with all that marbling in there, you can't, you can't even overcook it. It, it. You know, it just it just continues to be tender as anything. I particularly like mine to be medium to medium rare. I, I like a little pink in mine. So then what we're going to do is then we're going to pop it into the oven and let it cook for about 15 minutes while we're making the sauce. There you go. Okay. All right, now we got the butter and olive oil going. We're going to make our sauce. Okay. We're going to take some uh, sweet Vidalia onions. Oh, yeah. Throw that in there. Okay. We're going to take some fresh uh, rosemary. I love rosemary, especially with pork. Oh, yeah. So I'll tell you that. Just let that get a little translucent there. Okay. Now, what we have, we take our uh, whole fig preserves. I quarter them up. Right. And I throw those in there. Okay. And so, folks, I, I want to tell you, too, Lee's Farm has all kinds of fresh um, preserves just like this and products that, that are all canned. And, and you can buy. Just stop in over there. It burrows in at Lee's Farm just like these uh, figs. Exactly. And it's, again, it's a quick sauce. Yeah. That's all you have to do. All we're doing now is just warming it up. Oh, wow. That, that's not rocket science. Either. No, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And now what we're going to do with the uh, pork chop is I'm going, this is here Brussels sprouts. We okay. pickle Brussels, Brussels sprouts with a pick, uh, butter, uh, butter pickling. Right. Um, we do some sweet Vidalia onions, some red peppers, and uh, a little bit of celery seed and a little bit of mustard seed. Mustard goes great with Brussels sprouts oh, and wow. pork. And what that also does, because it has that little vinegar taste to it, uh -huh. it offsets the sweetness of this sauce. I got you. Okay. All right, so now we're done there, and now it's time to the plate. Wow. Okay, so all we're going to do is take our sauce. Mm. You know, from the aromas, from the uh, fig sauce, exactly. the pork chop, and the ocean breeze blowing Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, exactly. Wow. And I'll take just a little more of that uh, fresh rosemary, put that on top, mm. and there you go. You got a pan-seared uh, pork chop local pork chop with a fig, rosemary, and Vidalia onion sauce. And pickled Brussels sprouts. And pickled huh? Brussels sprouts. There you go. Wow. Ed, thank you so much thank for you, being Bob. a guest Appreciate this week. It. As always, remember, folks, buy and eat local. It's simply a matter of taste. Log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. We'll see you then. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina-grown products. It's a matter of taste.